Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to number five of the basics of SC 2013 modding. Okay, now we are on uh, part two of, a, of reviewing snap points and I'm doing a second video for it because there were a couple things I left out that I need to explain in regards to modding snap points and yada yada yada. Okay, so oops. I, I'm just scratching something out that's all on my screen, you know, I got one of those touch screens uh, things, so, yeah, okay, so go ahead, open up SimCity game, or you know what, you can go to your public works file if you still have it, yeah, we're gonna go here because this is just so much easier for me, okay, go to your model, go to the model file, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here, yep, here we go. Now, you know what, actually this doesn't work for the public works, I'm going to open up something else. Um, uh, I'm looking for, specifically, I'm looking for my wind or solar storage batteries, uh, which should be right here, yep. We'll go with wind storage batteries. Now, you'll see why I chose this specifically in a second, okay. Here are the model details for this. If you do not have the wind storage batteries, I ha I'll have a link in the description to it. So all you have to do is just go ahead and down, uh, go to that link and download it from there, and you'll be good to go. So yeah, okay. It's on Simtropolis, so it's not it's not on any bad site or whatever. So you'll be good. You'll be good. All right. So we're here, and what I wanted to show you is a couple things. Uh, it's defined as SE unit is module because it's a module, so it has that bool check mark right there. Okay, SC unit snaps to unit side. Now, I'm sorry, I have to scratch this out. This and some of these things annoy the crap out of me. Like I, ha I get these uh, smudge marks on my screen and it annoys the crap out of me. Okay, SC unit snaps to unit side. Now, that is another thing uh, you can do. It, uh, you can have a module or something snap to the side of an object, uh, of another object in the game. And it's a bool, uh, as you can see right now. No, you can't see it. But yeah, so there's that. Now, take a look at these two. Eco Game Tool Plot Place in Radius, that's a bool. And Eco, Eco Game Tool Plot Place in Radius R, that's, and it has 500. This is a uh, float value. These two properties right here define whether uh, how far away you can plot uh, these things from the main building. And that is how I made my plot modules farther away mod. That's how I made my citywide distribution enhancement mods. Yeah. Uh, partially anyway for those two. I mean for those anyway. Yes. Uh, and if you want to make it farther away from the building, uh, if you want to be able to make it so that you can plot them farther away, all you have to do is simply change this to a higher value such as 2400 uh, if you want to make it compatible with project Orion you may want to go with 4800 and yeah and that's all you change really now if you want this to say snap to the road I'll show you how to do that you simply delete this delete the property go to add property SC unit snaps to frontage now before we go ahead and uh, do this, there are a variety of uh, these SC unit snaps that I want to show you. Okay. SC unit snaps anywhere. And that's where it does uh, the object, it tells the object that it does not need snap points in order to snap somewhere. So it doesn't have any snap points. You can plop it basically anywhere. Except for on roads, I think. Yeah and uh, where buildings currently are. You can do SC unit snaps to road center, where it snaps in the middle of the road, say an avenue, it would snap in the middle of the road. SC unit snaps to sidewalk, like the bus stops. SC unit snaps to unit side, uh, pretty basic, self-explanatory, and SC unit snaps to unit top, self-explanatory. Okay? Uh, I, I'm hoping that you guys understand that. It is very easy. You can alter that in many ways. Okay. All right, because I have to... I, I'm sorry, I just had a moment there. I, I have to get to something else with this. 
Okay, so you select bool. Bool property is the checkbox property value thing. So you would select that if you want a checkbox. Don't bother with is array. We're going to bother that with, with that uh, in later episodes or videos. And you would go down here and check it, and voila. It would snap to the road instead of snapping to the building itself. Okay. Now, there is one last thing in regards to this that I want to show you. There are these properties here called 0x0a14edb3. That is the uh, that is the instance ID for these vector2 properties. Now, when I made my mod, my first mod ever, when I made that, it was called um it was fire uh, no, it was the fire helipad for small station. Now, it wasn't something as easy as changing the UI tool category, the menu, and then saving it and being done. I had to mess with these properties uh, because this changes, it changes the size of the object but does not change it visually. So it will change it so that it conforms to certain snap points but it will not change it visually. So it will appear the same size uh, and it if you roll over it in the game, it will stay the same size and it will work just fine uh, if you alter these, but it alters it so that they conform to certain snap points that you need. Okay, so you would change these based on what other modules of the same variety are uh, in order to get it to work out. Okay, I may come back to this in another video. I don't believe I need to because I don't believe you're going to have to do that for. Uh, if you plan on changing UI tool categories. If you do, if you end up doing it, just let me know. I may do a video for it uh, just to show you how I did it. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you today in this video, just to cover up uh, the mistakes. I, I mean, what I didn't cover in the first snap points video. I'm sorry I'm a bit lost today. I, I, I'm, always, I'm always a bit stupid. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm stupid in general, but... Yeah, you get the point. All right, if you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike and leave some constructive criticism. That is always appreciated. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. And be sure to follow me at Captain0202. Remember, the Wind Storage Batteries download link will be in the description for you to access. Don't worry, it's completely safe. I'm not taking you to the website specifically because I've done that many times if you watched my videos. Uh, and I did it one time in this series, the last video actually. So you have a general idea of how Centropolis works, etc. Okay, that's it guys. Hope to talk to you later. Stay tuned. Building Something Awesome Part 5 is coming soon.